Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com and we are behind the ubiquitous Rain Clover. If you'll look at my speedometer, you'll see we're going about 38 miles an hour in a 55 zone. There's a little bit of rain out, which apparently uh, really scares clover. This clover can't deal with rain. It's very scary out here. It's amazing. And the guy's got uh, a big, hunky four-wheel drive truck. And he's just kind of crippling on down the road, not quite doing 40 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone. Underposted 55 mile an hour zone, that's the kicker. Uh, this road, if it went by the 85th percentile speed, would be at least 60, 65 miles an hour minimally, but it's 55. And here we have Clover, who apparently thinks that the limits of adhesion of his tires uh, on this road uh, <laughs> are exceeded at 38 miles an hour. Luckily, we're coming to a passing zone here, so we'll get a chance to pass the clover, I hope, and hopefully we will uh, get an opportunity to look at him. By the way, I'm going to pass in a very non-cloverish fashion by doing the following, by actually pushing down on the gas pedal, and one, two, three, four, passing the clover, just like that. Now, I got into a little discussion with clover on the site, epautos.com, the other day uh, about passing, and Clover takes the position, which is the position that the law takes, that um, you're not supposed to exceed the speed limit while you're passing. So uh, if, for example, you come upon somebody like that uh, who's barely creeping along at 40, you're not supposed to go any faster than 55 to get around him. The problem with that, of course, is that cruise control passing at a turtle's pace requires much more time uh, in the opposite lane of traffic than a proper quick pass does. And objectively, that seems rather unsafe to me to uh, just kind of sit there in the opposite lane of traffic and hope that nobody's coming in the other direction. Um, I'd prefer to pass quickly, uh, move back into my lane, and proceed. But uh, Clover deems that to be unsafe. Uh, and unfortunately, Clover's perspective is also the legal perspective these days. Uh, latter days um, in the USSA. Anyway, um, I will sign off for now. Uh, come on down to epautos.com for more libertarian-themed uh, car commentary, articles about new cars, old cars, motorcycles, and what have you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.